All right, we're down here for the Sunday of Drifting SA's round two at the Bend Motorsport Park, uh, doing the run the wall layout. Uh, we're in L2 at the moment in the V35. Kane's uh, practicing because his car's broken. As always. <laughs> and um, yeah, I was just in the passenger seat. Now we're about to swap over cars and I'm about to go out to practice in my car. So yeah, we'll see you there. All right, first up, uh, skip to the time on the screen if you don't want to see any of the practice from the morning session and head straight into the competition. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to show you a bit of uh, what the layout is for the day. Um, so we've obviously got your, your form up, up the top right there. And basically, there's a speed gate coming around here. Um, so you've got to get a bit of uh, a bit of speed up, but it kind of uh, narrows down to slow you down a little bit. So the chase guy has plenty of room there to get a nice uh, straight run onto the straight there. And then uh, if you both side by side coming out of that speed gate, um, sort of modulating the speed, you should be able to enter into turn one uh, side by side or just behind. Uh, basically, the first clipping point is the wall all the way along where the pits are there. And then I uh, want to see you nice and wide around the whole of turn one with a nice smooth arc. Uh, this was uh, basically done by me with the left foot brake because I was struggling last time and cutting super tight into turn one there. Then the next clip is uh, on the outside of the end of turn one. Then you want a nice snappy transition to the left hander there to keep it nice and wide on the outside of there. Another snappy transition, but a little bit later um, to get that outside clip for that first uh, or the second right hander. Keep that wide again and another transition around and keeping it nice and wide around that bowl and then over to the, uh, not the bowl, the, uh, the U-shaped hairpin, whatever you call it, and then over the finish line. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into practice now and uh, see how we go in the morning session. This is just a solo pass here, so I might talk you through it. Um, I tried to cut the clips to basically just going through the speed gate, so you guys don't have to watch the runner, otherwise this video would be about three hours long. Um, Apologise for the wind noise there, it's a little bit noisy um, entering turn one. But um, yeah, as you can see, trying to stay nice and wide around there, hitting that clip there on the wide line, and the wide line there. And then here on that ripple strip, we're going to be nice and wide, and then a late transition to wide from that clipping point there onto that ripple strip there. Another transition, keeping out here. Didn't have to be out of the tyres, but just a nice wide arc there for the chase guard to come up nice and close.
start to notice a bit of a shape in the steering wheel coming down here. Um, keep an eye on that throughout a few of these clips because uh, that starts to get a little bit worse and worse as the day goes on. Um, not quite sure what it is yet, but uh, yeah, we'll see later in the video. What I'm talking about is down the straight here, um, in a straight line. Can't really see it too well in this clip, but uh, yeah, let's keep an eye on it. You need a left foot brake a little bit more because it's pushing out wide, a little bit too wide on the outside there. Oh, okay. But it looks good though. Like, yeah, yeah. And the really center such a fast. So yeah. And the switches are good. Yeah, yeah. The entries are perfect on the wall. So yeah. keep that up. Ah, sweet. <laughs> Here you can see the steering wheel starting to get worse. It's almost like I've got the, uh, the old patrol death wobble. As you can see here, just after the entry, you can know, hear basically I'm straight on the left foot brake and we can hear the motor sort of uh, drying down a little bit in revs. So that's applying a bit more left foot brake and uh, dragging the car a little bit wider around that first corner.
that was a big hit. All good? That was a big hit. <laughs> I think it was just the bash bar though. Okay. Are you going to go out and have a look? Yeah, I gotta go in, it's hot anyway. Okay. Let's get this Where'd you hit? You hit the back of me on transition. Yeah, this side. Yeah. I don't think it hit the wheel, I think it just hit the bash bar. Yeah, it's all fine. Well, Jack, I gotta change the tyres anyway, so I might as well jack it up. But it felt like a decent hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it hit the wheel. We just have to pull this straight again. What straight? This. Need to be done now or back to it? Uh, probably want a little bit straighter. Do you want a hand like hammer or? Oh, probably, do you want to off the jack? Nah, uh, just leave it like that. Looks like from hitting a ripple strip, I reckon, on uh, the chase run. I can't remember who it was with, but I went a little bit too shallow and uh, yeah, smashed the ripple strip. I reckon it's bent this strut tower in because the uh, brake master cylinder is holding the strut tower <laughs> from going any further, and the uh, strut race is a little bit. <laughs> you can see it how much further up it is that side over there so hopefully that holds together because that's a bit uh, scary but you can see how close it is there that's not meant to be touching you're meant to be able to fit your fingers through there so I might get the hammer out and try and hammer that back down <laughs> so here you can see the uh, steering wheel shake getting much worse you can even see it in the uh, gear shifter as well if you look down so it's starting to worry me a little bit because it's coming into battle soon and I wanted to make sure the car's actually going to last. I did the whole of uh, Saturday night practice and the whole of this morning practice just thrashing the car. So get a few more laps in here and then uh, yeah, try to give it a bit of a rest before the actual battles.
Maybe one more before the car disintegrates. It's getting worse and worse. <laughs> It's not gonna last much longer. Okay. How's all the rubber all up the door? <laughs> Do you want the jack? See how it's bent into there? It's not meant to be touching any of that. Oh, okay. It's Can gone. It out, all up there is all bent. Yeah. Yeah, that's not meant to be caved in, so this whole strut tower has moved in. Yeah. The edge, like this edge is probably meant to be about here. Yeah. You can see where the guard's meant to be. Yeah. Bent that whole rail across. It was already bent before, but it's gotten way worse, worse. now. Over time. It's pushed that across. Yeah. Uh, Nah, that's alright. I can't fix it anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, there's no point doing an extra 10 laps in practice and yeah, killing it. Yeah. I'm only going to get 10 laps, I might as well do the battles. Yeah. Alright, we're uh, about to head out for our first battle rounds. Um, feeling super confident in uh, the line I've been doing and uh, Everyone's been saying it's been pretty pretty on point. Um, however, I'm a bit worried about the car lasting, so hopefully this thing can stay together and then, uh, yeah, we can weld some random bars and stuff together to hold that strut tower together later on, but as long as it gets us through this event, that'll be all, uh, all good. So, yeah, we'll head into the battle rounds now. sort of came in I think you got to stay out wider so maybe enter a little bit later and then hold it out wide 
And then um, in the last corner as well, you're in a bit tight. made it so much easier. So, you got the handbrake the wall? A little bit. Throw it, and then if you think you're gonna hit the wall, sort of handbrake a little bit, and then straight on the foot brake. When you're like, probably a couple of meters from the end of the wall, on the foot brake and flood out, and then just foot brake all the way around. It's super weird, but it works. Cause Dean and Dan and Jake, all of them, they were doing it last time, and they all did good. And I was like, I can't get it. And they're like, just fucking foot brake. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was it weird to follow though around the first corner? Yeah. Bit slow. Hey. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. It's hard to get that wide line without sort of like foot braking because it kind of brings you in but the foot brake sort of drags you back out i just chucked this clip in because uh, you can see how many people were on the wall watching us i think over the weekend we had uh, over the two days had about 1100 paying spectators um, plus all the drivers and pit crew and, and all that so one of the biggest crowds I've seen in South Australia for many, many years of drifting. So it's good to see the uh, the way that things are heading for our events. Um, there was other places to watch as well on the other side of the track. Um, the wall wasn't the only spot, so the whole place was packed, which was great to see.
It was too long. It was too long between battles. I forgot how to do it. <laughs> okay, cheers. Normally I was doing better than that. I sort of acted a bit. Yeah, yep. <laughs> too excited there. That was sick! <laughs> oh, that was fucking sick! Yeah, no, that was perfect. It was so easy to chase. Yeah, that was good. That was sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that was killer. Yeah, yeah, that no, was good. And that was faster than anyone I've followed as well because I was topping out third. So it was a good entry. And it was just enough for me to still be able to flick it behind you. It was perfect. Yeah, no, nah, sick. <laughs> All right, so the way the last two battles worked, you get scored points. Uh, you're not uh, actually getting eliminated versus the other person. So after that, the uh, points that tallied up and I reckon I was in about 6th place coming into the top 16. So now we're going again to the top 16 and uh, we've got to keep enough points to stay into the top 8 to advance into the top 8 for the next lot of battle rounds.
So I ended up uh, making it up into fifth place into the top eight. So that got me through into the elimination battles and I was up against Matty Ween Drift. Ner nervous now? Nervous now? Oh. Do you want the V35? Do you want the V35? <laughs> Uh, do you need a push start? Do you want them to move? Can you go back? He, he needs to roll start his car. Should be alright now. So Matt's alternator was dead on the Ford U and uh, he had no battery voltage so he couldn't run his car or start it so we're just trying to get everyone out of the way so that we could um, push start it and uh, get it started ready for our battle because no one wants to win a battle due to a mechanical so made sure we, we got him up and running and then got out for the battle.
ended up losing that battle and getting eliminated from the top eight. Um, Maddie ended up going through to the top four. Um, won in his top four battle, ended up making it to the final um, up against Dale. And uh, Dale ended up taking home the win. So I just want to replay the uh, chase run from our top eight battle just to explain to you where I think I lost the battle. Um, as you can see there, I just hit a cone which was in the way, which put me off a little bit. And then uh, here is where I believe I lost it. So I was sort of setting up to go the wide line around there and then Matt went a little bit tighter and then dropped wider there, which then I was not ready for and then I dropped the tire off there, which set me pretty well behind for the rest of the run. Um, and in no way is that Matt's fault, that's uh, my fault because the chase car's booking point is the lead car driver and I was just dedicated to doing that outside line all day and uh, yeah, just wasn't watching where he was going and didn't bring it in tight so that's what lost me the run in, uh, in my opinion. But well done to Matty, it was his first L1 competition and he ended up getting to the final and taking home second place so I was really stoked on that. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Thanks for the push stuff. I went, I went flying off the track. So oh, did you? Yeah. It's hard to know when you're in the lead what's happening by. Yeah, yeah. Unless they're on you. Yeah. You need another battery or something? I've got another one. It just keeps killing them. So that lasted me. Can you text me the finishes? Let me know I've got a spare in the pool, bro. No worries, thanks, mate. Better get it now. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, great day. Um, had so much fun and uh, thankful for drifting and safe, putting these rounds on. The uh, new 4.1 ratio diff really brightened up the Sylvia, made it a lot quicker, a bit more acceleration. So, yeah, stoked. Can't wait to uh, get to round three. I'm sitting in fourth in the championship at the moment, so. Definitely want to try and bring it home strong for the rest of the season. So, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one.